Hello and welcome back to Manor Lords, and I've just built a rather wonderful little thing for our farmhouse here. It's a plowing station, and I also actually expanded to have another field. So basically what we're going to do, oh yeah, the raiders are near, 46 days also. But yes, also we're going to be doing a little bit of a, a thing here where we basically just alternate between the two fields. Probably a good idea to get a third one as well, but... I don't currently have uh, enough space really to do that, but that's the thing. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I should do something about that. How much timber do I have? Twenty-five. Actually, pretty decent. So you know what? Let's get some more. Let's get some more burgage plots here. It's probably going to be a pretty decent idea for me to do that. At least, let's do this. Something like that. There we go. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, we should also be leveling up a lot of our um a lot of our places into higher levels uh, it seems like yeah the clothing store supply still don't have enough yep still don't have enough so that's the thing what we're gonna need is uh well my, my for some reason my sheep is not doing particularly a lot i mean we're getting enough i suppose but Maybe it's not good enough, is it? I don't know. Do I need to assign another person to this so that they, we have another stall? I don't think that there's enough actually for us to be able to do that. You know what? Maybe I should. Should I try? Should I try getting flax with this? I mean, look. If I get flax here, it's gonna be. I don't know. Should I try getting flax that can be weaved into linen? Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Look at this. Uh, we're actually getting a retinue right here. Really? We actually have a retinue? Oh, that's that's interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can only hope the raiders are not going to be super, super hard because I am probably not really ready. Let's just say that. Um, do we need a corpse pit, by the way? To get rid of... Ah, to get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Ah, that's actually quite important. Okay, so I'm probably going to put this um, somewhere out of the way. Probably somewhere... I don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea, actually. Probably here somewhere, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, some, something like this, I guess. I mean, I'm not really... <laughs> not really sure where anything's going to be in the village, basically. But I just wanted to make sure that it's far enough away from the residential area. Um, because I assume that the smell is going to be a thing. So, you know, basically moving it away from the residential area, which is all the way over here, is going to be a good idea. I mean, there's a clay deposit and a mine over here, so it's probably a good idea anyway. Um, hopefully that's not going to make any difference to our fields of wheat or anything like that. I don't know. Um, but hopefully that's going to be good. Let's just speed things up a little bit here. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, I... You know what? Let me just slow that down again real quick. Because <laughs> I'm thinking right now, maybe what would be a nice idea is to get... Uh, I'm thinking a tan don't I have a tannery I'm pretty sure I have a tannery somewhere where's the tannery I'm pretty sure I have one I'm not I'm not gonna be able to see it though unfortunately I don't think uh, yeah okay the charcoal kiln is under construction that's fine a bloomery smithy clay furnace the tannery should be close to the hunting camp but I decided not to... Apparently, I decided not to build one. I guess. Am I right in, in thinking that? I, I think so. I, I don't actually remember building a tannery, so... I should probably build one. Yeah, I should probably build one. But we also need to build a... Um, oh, we've already done a weaver's workshop. Okay, that's actually fine. Okay, great. So we don't need that. So I guess the best thing for me to do then is to actually get a tannery. So I'm going to build that right next to the hunting lodge. Because inevitably, we're, we're going to have some hides, aren't we? We have 31 hides. So this makes the most sense in the world, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, we're going to need this ASAP. So let's try to get that up and running. And, uh, well, I have no idea really actually what's going to happen here. But raiders are coming in 40 days. I am so worried about this, actually. I am extremely worried about this. By the way, if you want to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And this comes out on April 26th. And, uh, well, let's just say that it's looking fantastic. 
It really is. Okay, so one thing that we need to really, really be very careful of right now is I do want to see whether we can advance our people a little bit more. I'd like to get more um, more burgage plots and things. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Yeah, this is uh, this is real bad. Okay, th there you go. The construction is now finished. Okay, let me actually just have a quick look at this thing. Let me just put someone on there. And do I do I just not have enough people? I think I just don't have enough people to be honest. I think that might actually be the be the uh, the main problem here potentially. Maybe it is. Yeah, we can actually level this. Upgrade that to level 2. So wait a minute, is it just the- wait a minute. Is it just that the marketplace is not close enough? To these burgage plots to actually make it work? Because... It, I mean, it says enough supply. But it did say enough supply for these things right here. So that's kind of weird. Okay, uh, another ruler's army. That is over there. That's fine. We don't really need to worry about that. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, this is uh, this is a little bit problematic, isn't it? Yeah, this is a little bit problematic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I am so worried right now. I am very, very worried. That's all I can say, really. Okay. Let's just unassign someone from that. I think we have enough fuel for the moment. We've got more roof tiles and things. But yes, I'm actually wondering whether this is it's too far away. I assume is it. Is it actually too far away for the... For the uh, no, surely not. I mean, it shouldn't make any difference. Okay, well, let's upgrade this to level 2. As you can see, look at this. Th these are close. This one isn't, though. That's so weird. Yeah, I... I yes, I'm going to assume that it is too far. These things are too far to upgrade from the marketplace because these ones are not too far or at least the one that I just selected this one over here or one of these this one this one right here is not too far away from the marketplace but the others are so that means that I did indeed as I suspected in the uh, one of the previous episodes I did suspect that I made a bit of an error making the marketplace that large but well, there you go. Okay, so that just means that maybe what I should do is I should make a uh, make another one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should make another one. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, so where is that, though? That's the thing. It's probably under here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it says here, provide space for the assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce to the burgage plots. A healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fulfill residential requests and keep approval high. But the question is... Does it make any difference for me to actually build one of these marketplaces right here? I don't know. Uh, is that too large? I don't know. I really have no idea. We're just going to have to do it and then just see. It's just it'll just see what happens, you know. Just see what happens and, and hopefully that's going to work out quite nicely for us. Maybe I can assign another person. Whoa, yeah, there's, an, uh, there's a load of market stalls here for people. Uh, let's just do three on there. What about the granary? Yes, yeah, the whoa, granary needs three people too. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Right. Okay. Well, the raiders are coming in twenty-two days. Uh, oh dear. I'm still worried about it. I'm still very, very worried. Okay. Well, we're gonna do our best. What else can I do, eh? What else can I do? I can just do my best and just try. And if it fails, then it fails, and that's all we're gonna have to deal with. You know, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I don't know. I mean, funnily enough, I did actually get an achievement, if you're interested, by the way. I did I just I did get an achievement when we survived the first winter. So it could very well have been possible for me to fail before this time, which is <laughs> a pretty staggering achievement to be honest, because usually if you know me and playing city builders, if they are you know particularly harsh, I will Almost always never have enough food or warm clothing or whatever, and then all my villagers will just starve and or freeze to death. You know, that was an experience I had in a, another city builder a while ago. 
<laughs> but, you know, I've learned quite a bit. I've learned quite a bit about things, and hopefully this is not going to... Uh, hopefully it's not going to turn out that way in this one. Okay, so we do have this... Uh, this marketplace up and running now. Don't know whether it's going to make any difference. Probably won't. Weaver's Workshop. No, they don't need an additional person on that. The Sheep Farm. I don't think that makes any difference. They're leveling up this Burgage Plot right now to level 2. And yeah, we have 11 Timber. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Construction is finished on the Food Stall as well. Where is that? Is that over here? No. Okay, uh, so there's another food store. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so they are actually just literally looking over to this particular marketplace. And I'm not sure whether it is literally just because I don't have enough. You know, because of the supply and demand. Or whether it is area based. Because as I say, this one was capable of upgrading, but the one next to it is not. So it kind of makes me a little bit suspicious, you see. Makes me suspicious of that. So, that's why I was wondering whether I should, you know, do the thing, you know, change it up a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's, let's fast forward here a little bit here. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. Let's just say that. Okay, so, what is the, hang on, wait a minute. I need the Woodcutter's Lodge. That, that, what, what does the Woodcutter's Lodge do, by the way, again? Because we don't have anyone on that. Woodcutter's Lodge produces firewood. Don't we need firewood? Did I actually take someone off that? We've got 265. We've got enough fuel to last nine months. That's actually quite significant, but in winter they take double the amount. So I'm going to put one person on there. And um, yeah, hopefully that's going to be good enough. I mean, we've got a good amount of oxen, actually. The, the, the oxen having, well, us having three of those is making a significant difference. Okay, wait a minute. These are, this is an enemy army here. Well, not an enemy army, but you know what I mean. They are, um, are they actually killing us right now? <laughs> okay, please don't. <laughs> I would very much appreciate it if they would not do that. Okay, deposit exhausted mining pit, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. So this is completely gone, as you can see. I can now actually demolish this, I suppose. Um, yeah, guess that makes sense. We're going to get construction supplies refunded. And... Uh, yeah, I, I think that's fine. We've got one grave digger, so that's also fine. The charcoal kiln is still not being done for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I guess it's because they're focusing on the burgage plots, which is obviously fine. Yeah, so these guys, I don't know where they're running to, but they have 100% effectiveness. Pretty sure my guys are not going to have 100% effectiveness. I'm pretty sure they're not. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Let's just say that. Oh, dear. Resource stolen by nearby bandits. Okay, which ones? These ones over here? But they're not even in my not even in my territory. So which where, where are the bandits that actually stole my, my resources? Because they're showing me that I've lost resources. But they don't show me where the brigands actually are that stole them. I mean, they show the, the camp where they came from, of course, but they're not showing me, you know, the actual active party of bandits. Unless I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. Another ruler's army was sighted. Yes, over here. We know that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're getting raiders in seven days. Let's speed things up and actually get that going because they're going to be appearing very, very soon. And construction is now being completed. That's wonderful. And here we go. All right. So we do have equipment missing, of course. But as we've seen, we do have the ability to construct an army. And hopefully that is going to be enough. So where are the raiders? They're coming. Let's just speed up for one more day. And then I will rally my troops. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, not looking forward to it. Let's just say that. I'm not looking forward to it. I kind of feel like this is going to be a huge, huge issue. And we may indeed actually find that we are just going to die. And in which case, 
Well, it's been nice knowing you. Yes, it's been nice knowing you. Okay, let's rally. And I have no idea where they're going to arrive. Um, I guess I'll just rally them over here. And my retinue, rally them too, over here. Okay, where is the enemy? Oh, they're right in the se- No, that's me. That's me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an enemy because they're red. Oh, that's hilarious. It's because my faction my faction color is red. That's very funny. All right, so let's have a look. Where are the raiders? Uh, can they... I, I apparently can't see where they are. Um, so that's a little bit of a problem. Okay. Well, I can select them in good old classic RTS fashion with the good old click-drag box. So that's nice. Okay, mission completed. Raiders near. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, but where, where are they? That's the question. I'm looking for an icon. I'm looking for basically anything. Construction finished. Charcoal kiln. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Good to know. Um, let's put someone on that. We have zero people doing construction right now, which is really kind of bad. Um, trading post is not going to work anyway right now, so I'm basically just going to unassign someone from that. Um, unassign someone from this as well, no, no real point in that. Okay, so I did conscript my people, uh, I have rallied them. But I, for some reason, do not see the raiders. Uh... Um, okay. Am I... Is, is everything okay? I actually have no idea. Oh, by the way, this is the thing that actually should have been uh, demolished, I believe. Um, yeah. So? What, um... What is... <laughs> <laughs> what is actually supposed to happen now? Because the raiders are not actually doing anything right here. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Okay, forager hut. Let's get three people on that thing. And the charcoal kiln. Obviously, that's absolutely fine. Woodcutter's lodge. Fine. Oh, we can actually level this up now. Level that up too. Just going to level er absolutely everything that I can. Thank you. All right. So is this actually... Yeah, we need to get some people on this. Let's get three people on this. And obviously, bear in mind, we do now have the ability to use an Oxen now as well, which is going to be fantastic. Um, let's actually get two people on it. And then we'll use, uh, we'll get some people on the windmill. Actually, you know what? No, the windmill's not even necessary right now. Um, because we need to make bread, obviously, once the wheat, wheat is done, but we don't really need that right now. Okay, so where are the raiders? Uh, I was kind of thinking that they would actually attack. Um, do I need to zoom out and see where they actually are? Or... <laughs> I, I don't see them. I don't see them anywhere. There's some brigands. But as you can tell, uh, these guys are going to be attacked by this army here. Aren't they? Yep. Here we go. Oh, they're going in. They're going in there. They're clashing. They're clashing. I don't know who's going to win. It seems like the uh, this guy is going to win. Actually, wait a minute. This is looking like a pretty even battle. Because the uh, the brigands for hire are actually indeed brigands for hire. Wait a minute. Can I actually tell my forces to go over there? Nah, they're not going to make it over there in time, are they? That's going to be absolutely impossible for them to make it there in time. And my people are actually not bad in terms of their effectiveness. I, I am actually going to disband the unit, though. And... Um, we will disband these guys as well. And uh, we will just let them go about their business. Because apparently the raiders are not coming. So um, I was... Psyching myself out for nothing, I guess. Um, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I, I guess the best thing for me to do right now is just to try and get as much food as possible from the berries and to upgrade as many as many plots as I can because we want to try to earn as much uh, regional wealth as we as possible so that we can maybe just maybe 
um, get some mercenaries. We might be able to get some mercenaries, or we might be able to do something along those lines. I don't know. But um, one thing I do want to do pretty badly, actually, is... Um, where's the foraging hut? There it is. Yeah, there's three people on there. That's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, what I do want to do is I want to attack some brigands myself. So I feel like that would be quite fun. And if I can find a brigand's camp, that would be nice. But uh, obviously the uh, the fellow, um, <laughs> the other guy, the other AI friend that we have, he is doing the utmost to eliminate all the brigands in the land. And that is making things very difficult for me, of course. Because now I'm unable to do that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's just how it's going to be for the most part. And I guess I should get some more residential up and running. Alright, let's do it. Okay, that's being claimed now as well. Wow, that's pretty... That's pretty impressive. Only... What? Really? I only have enough timber for one? Are you serious? Oh, that's really funny. Okay, sure, why not? Okay, so this is being claimed right now. Um, so he's, he's actually claiming multiple things. Okay, yeah, well, I obviously don't have the ability to do that yet, because I don't have enough, um, I don't have enough influence, as you can see. It can be gained from raising the settlement level, enacting a policy, conquering bandit camps, and upgrading your churches and manors. Well, if I do try to upgrade my manor, you can see here that my manor is, well, yeah, as you can tell, basically not really doing much. I mean, I can I can add something to it if we want to. We can, I don't know, add a tax office or something, but that doesn't really do much as far as I'm aware. Gates are created automatically when a wall is placed over a rose. Every gate adds one timber to the construction cost. Technically, we could do that, I suppose. A gate? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Here? <laughs> oh, that is so funny. That's so cool, though. That's really cool. It looks cool. Look at that. That looks really, really cool, actually. So technically, I could get a huge fence around this area, which would actually be pretty fun. I'm going to just commit this for the moment. Uh, but that sounds pretty nice, in my opinion. And uh, we've got we've now got 29 regional wealth. Very nice indeed. I like that. Okay, so we've got minus two timber right now as well. Um, where's the woodcutting guy? Is it's not this one? It's the logging camp, right? Yeah, yeah. We need an uh, we need another another person on that, in my opinion. All right. Otherwise, we're doing absolutely fine. We've got the field, uh, fa flax field, right here, and we've already done the wheat, as you can see. That was fast. That was actually pretty quick. Or at least I think it was pretty quick. Maybe it wasn't quick at all. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to look out for another brigand camp. Okay, so if there is another brigand camp somewhere popping up, we are immediately going to go and attack it. Don't worry. We will go and attack it and we'll see what happens. Because um, I do have my spear militia. And I think that might be quite fun. I'm not sure how that's going to go, of course. But... Well, we're going to need to make some moves because our uh, our friend here is doing a great job of claiming other regions. And, uh, well, is he? Is he actually doing a good job? I don't know. Maybe. And I wouldn't mind getting a piece of the action. Let's just say that. And how are we doing, actually? Oh, yeah, my planks are going way overboard right now. So I'm going to take this guy off the saw pit now. Don't really need any more of those. And we want to, of course, continue getting uh, firewood. That is obviously very much important. And how is our uh, you know, the charcoal guy is doing something? I hope. I think he is. Yes, he is. As you can see right there, we've got two charcoal. And what are we doing here? We've got 10 months worth of food. That's wonderful. Okay, the forager hut. We should probably get another person on that, actually. Get another person on that so that we can make the most out of the berries. It's pretty crazy how much you can actually get out of a rich deposit of berries. It's kind of crazy. I like that. Okay. Yeah, well, apart from this... Um, do we know? We don't need any more stalls here. No more stalls. That's fine. Uh, we can actually upgrade this. Upgrade this to a large granary. Might make sense, right? Might make sense. Let's do it. 
And new mercenary companies available. I don't really need to worry about that. We can obviously upgrade some of these as well. Yes, yes, more upgrades. Okay, so this marketplace is actually not necessary at all. So it's good that I actually checked, uh, but we don't need that. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Forager hut. Well, that's not my, I mean, I can't do much about that, unfortunately, fellows. You're going to need to move it. Oh, the pantry is full. What? Oh yeah, this is full. Yeah, we need more people to, to move that stuff. Do we need to buy some more oxen? Maybe it would make sense. Okay, let's buy another oxen then, I guess. Let's get one person on that and buy it. It's only 20, isn't it? Isn't it only 20 still? Yeah, it's only 20, so we should be fine. Um, I don't know what mules do, by the way. Maybe we should get another sheep. <laughs> oh, I'm being so funny about the sheep, aren't I? Yes. Let's just think about the sheep all the time. Oh, wait. wait have we got two? We've got two sheep. Yes! Oh, that's amazing! Look at that! We got two sheep because we obviously took that, um, that little, that little policy that we had. Oh, that's amazing! Okay, that is so nice. Oh, also, um, yeah, apparently they did not complete the wheat. I actually thought that they had done wheat already, but they had not sowed it. So, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I'm not sure whether they're, they're in time now to do it, but, oh well. Never mind. Uh, stocks, da stocks damaged by weather? Really? Okay. Well, that's not particularly good. Okay. Well, um, how are we doing in terms of the forager hut? No. Now we're now they're starting to actually take things over to the granary. That's fine. The granary is way too far away, by the way. I think that is probably something that I made a bit of an error on. Should have probably, probably put the granary in the center. I think that would have made more sense but obviously that's just me i don't know anyway let's just take a quick look see if there's actually something going on here maybe there are some brigand camps now i think they'll probably tell us when there are some brigand camps around um but what i should probably do is increase my tithe to the church that's probably something that i should probably go for where's my mana okay so taxes let's increase the tithe to the church. Let's give, um, I don't know, let's give 30% or something like that, I guess. I think that sounds like a better idea. I suppose. I don't know. I guess so. Nothing stored inside the manor either. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so we're getting flax and we're getting wheat and they're almost done plowing. Well, not plowing, but they're almost done sowing that. And once we're harvesting, then we should be pretty good. The clay furnace. Do I need any more of this? Do I need... Uh, wait a minute. Do I have any more of those that need to be... I don't think so, right? Next harvest is in 66 days. Oh, it's nice that they actually tell you that. I didn't... I wasn't actually aware of that. Okay, yeah. So we should probably actually uh, do a little bit more on this. And let's get more... Burgage plots. That is necessary. There we go. Uh, let's get some more over here. Perfect. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so another food stall. Hmm, nice. Another food stall. That's great. Okay, yeah, we've got 11 months worth of food and we're getting fuel as well. Bear in mind that obviously as time goes on, the charcoal kiln will be the thing, will be the play that we want to go for here. We want to make sure that we have more people in the charcoal kiln. Ah, look, wait, wait, wait. Ah, bandit camp was sighted. Where is it? There it is. It's all the way over there. Oh, that's far away. Oh, dear. Oh, my. All right. Well, let's do it then. Let's uh, rally my people. And let's rally them. Can I tell them to actually rally all the way over here? That's going to be hilarious. Okay, let's rally over there. And my retinue? Shall, shall I get my retinue to rally too? Yeah, why not? Feels like I'm not going to get attacked, so... Um, I can probably just, you know, do this the old-fashioned way, I suppose. And uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, my people are probably going to be taking care of pretty much everything, because I think I've gotten most of it done. I think I should probably put one more additional person on the windmill just to make sure that it's being done at the time when it needs to be done. 
And, oh yeah, the tannery has someone, doesn't it? Yes, the tannery has someone, so that's wonderful too. Okay, so my people, as you can see, quite clearly, are having problems with effectiveness. Oh, my retinue is down to literally 5% effectiveness. That's not very good. Um, I'm literally just going to leave them here now for a moment. Uh, I actually don't know. Is it... Fatigue, yeah. Okay, they're in the home. They're in the home region. Here's the thing: how is my how is my troops supposed to get all the way over here to the brigands without losing all of their without losing all of their their cohesion or whatever? That's going to be really really difficult, isn't it? Well, you know, no offense, but I actually feel like I am going to completely. Well, it feels like I'm going to lose this actually. It feels like I am going to lose this just purely because this guy right here, my enemy, is literally just... Well, I mean, he, I mean we, we only have 563 influence and he must have insane amounts because he's been sending his people out. But I don't actually understand. And this is one thing that maybe someone can help me with this. I don't know. Maybe you can help me with this. I don't understand how he was able to keep his effectiveness at such a massive amount because he's walking across uh, enemy territory or neutral territory and yet he was able to do insane things. I have no idea how he was able to do that. I'm actually going to disband my retinue because that makes no sense. The retinue is just not able to not able to do anything and as you can see even my spear militia are having huge problems even getting their effectiveness up i feel like this might i'm not sure if this needs a tweak um i mean is it just me <laughs> maybe it's just me but it feels very very harsh right now because if you you know for example i'm literally wanting to send my forces over here and look at this look at what happens I mean, do, wait a minute. Do I need to take them by the roads? Uh, actually, maybe that's going to make a difference. Okay, I'll, I'll try this, okay? I'll try this. So, can I actually do waypoints? No, I can't do waypoints, okay. Uh, I think there is waypoints, actually. Isn't it control or is it alt? No? Okay, I, I can't remember the key right now, but there is a waypoint that you can... You can there's a, there is a waypoint system that you can use. Okay, so wait a minute. This is actually still not helping us at all, as you can see. It is still providing us with an insane amount of um, effectiveness decrease. Um, I actually wonder, is this, is it even going to regenerate? Yeah, it does regenerate. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, so that just means, okay, I understand. So basically how you're supposed to do it is move your troops into another place, let them rest for a little bit, and then move on from there. What I would actually like to see personally is a way for you to regenerate your effectiveness faster. So for example, maybe there maybe there could be an option here that basically says to have them rest. I mean, it says stop movement and reform the formation. Run to positions. Oh, I can actually, wait a minute, look at this. I can actually tell them not to run. Oh, that's Ah, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, my generic storage is full for some reason. And the work area is empty? Oh yeah, for the forager hut, of course. So we're just going to leave two people on that because they have stalls and they want to sell the berries, of course. That makes sense. And the wheat is, um, the wheat is being harvested sometime. Uh, is it being harvested now? No, no, it's growing now. It's being harvested in about a month. Okay, that's cool. All right, so while I'm waiting for my people to regenerate, uh, shall we say, uh, I'm just gonna go and build some more little plots here. And I actually wanna get another road, to be honest. I wanna get another road around here. Oh no, not this. <laughs> I didn't want that. I want I want residential. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. Something like this. 
Oh, this is wonky. Uh, it's classic medieval architecture. That's what it is. Yes. Perfect. Yes, wonderful. Oh, it's it's crooked all over the place. That's what we love, isn't it? Yes. We're not going for the uh, <laughs> we're not going for the modern architecture. That's for sure. All right. Let's go here. We're gonna have to fell some trees, maybe, to actually get in here. There we go. And let's get the road to go along here. There we are. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's looking cool. Okay, so resource stolen by nearby bandits. And these are the bandits, as we can see right here. So, I'm obviously going to make my way over there. Where's my... Oh, there's my army. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where's my army? Where's my army? Okay, let's tell them to run over there. Okay, so let's see what happens when they just walk normally. Okay, so their fatigue is basically not going down now. So it was just literally that this was on by default. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, good, fine, fine. Okay, so my feedback is basically negligible now. Don't You don't need to take that into account because, as you can see, the effectiveness does not go down. If I had known this, okay, if I had known this in the previous episode... I literally would have been attacking brigand camps the entire time. But I guess that just goes to show, you know, you live and learn, right? You live and learn. And we now know exactly what we're going to do next time. If this uh, ends up failing, for example, because who knows? I'm, <laughs> I might I might actually end up failing this anyway, because we, uh, we do have spear militia, which are actually not bad. I mean, spear militia are not brigands, at least. So we might actually be able to do something pretty impressive. I don't know. And and uh, my saw pit is full, as you can see. Uh, apparently, do I need to assign one person to this? I don't really want to do that, but apparently I do have to. Um, yeah, how are we doing with the windmill? Yeah, that's fine as well. This is also fine. Maybe I should assign another person to this. Just for the harvesting season. It's harvesting season. It's harvesting season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. You know how we like to do it. Order a new horse. A livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animal. Really? <laughs> what does a horse do? That's the question. What does a horse actually do? I have no idea. That's the question. Let me actually have a look. Uh, horses. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me what horses do. Hmm. I'm going to assume that maybe my, uh, maybe my people would be faster. You know, maybe my army would be faster to move to their location. Maybe that would make sense. How's the smithy doing, by the way? Are we actually are we actually creating tools? Because <laughs> what do, what do the tools actually do? Do they increase speed of construction or something like that? Uh, that's all I can assume. Because I seem to have basically everything built now, with the exception of the dyer's workshop, the malt house, and the tavern. Those are the only things that I'm kind of missing, I believe. Oh yeah, also the food cart and the firewood cart, but that's not particularly necessary, at least as far as I'm aware. And uh, we're also missing missing the settlers' camp. We need 250 of whatever that is. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so we got 10% taxes right now. Do I want to raise the taxes? I don't know. I'm. <laughs> I hate taxes, right? I hate taxes, so I'm kind of not really wanting to do that because I, you know, I know how how annoying that can be. But uh, okay, well, whatever the case, my forces are now ready to move forward. Their cohesiveness is still. Oh, their effectiveness is actually not bad. Okay. Well, if they can get there in this time, then I'll be pretty happy. Okay, so here are the brigands, as you can see. They have a pretty decent effectiveness. They're fighting among each other. Look at that. They're actually fighting among each other. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hello. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. All right, here we go. They, they know. They know that we're here, I think. I think they know we're here. Okay, that's going to be interesting. All right, let's do this. Okay, um, I should probably, I don't want to fight in the trees. I don't want to fight in the trees. Because that actually gives us a debuff, I think. Okay, stop. Reform the formation. Okay, here we go. Here they come. They're, they're, they're doing the thing. Stand your ground. Ah, there we go. Stand your ground. I'm going to put them in stand your ground. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually a good idea, to be honest. Um, but we do outnumber them a little bit. But look, if we double our defense, 
then surely that's going to be good, right? Because we are spearmen, right? So technically, that would make sense. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it make sense? I don't know. I personally feel like doubling our defense is going to make a much bigger impact than being able to attack faster. But I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea to attack faster. No, no, we're winning. We're winning. Look at this. We're winning. Look at that. Okay, we've killed two of them so far. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay. So now all we need to do is just... Is just survive. Yeah, it seems like... Oh, this is actually really good. No, no. It seems like Stand Your Ground is actually a really, really good formation to use. And, uh... Is it, what, what are these guys doing back here? <laughs> They're just like, Yeah, you get them, guys! You know, you get them. I'm cheering at you, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, it seems like that's what they're doing. All right, so yeah, we should be absolutely fine here. I actually wonder what kind of influence we're going to get from this. Because we're going to destroy the brigand camp after this, of course. And the brigand camp is just over there. Um, I don't know how effective that's going to be. But as you can see, we've not lost anyone. And they're actually running now. Okay, let's go into balanced. Let's go over here. And let's destroy their bandit camp if we can. And I kind of want to put them into like a running. I kind of want to get them to run, but I also don't want to do that. Uh, these guys are now running away. I wonder whether they're going to be able to reform. I don't know whether they'll be able to do that. I mean, my faction is called Reformia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but that's the thing. I actually wouldn't even mind if, if those guys wanted to join us because, you know, that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? I think that would be kind of fun. Anyway, let's go back to our town right now because I do need to build some more uh, more plots, obviously. It's going to be pretty important for us. Let's get four if we can. There we go. And I wouldn't mind getting another couple here too. Yeah, something like that. And then the road can go around here. I love building the roads in this game. No offense. I really love building the roads in this game. So, so fun. Okay. So, I have another six houses being built. How are they doing in terms of the... Uh, in terms of this? They are... They are doing that. Okay. Let's get more people on this. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with that. Because... Um, Technically, they should be using a... Uh, I, I don't know whether they... I don't know. I, do they need a, an animal to be able to do this? I don't know. Anyway, when searching through the enemy's belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep it. Uh, uh, this belongs to my treasury now. Treasury change registered. 132! That's actually really good. We, hit, we barely had any of that. Oh, look at how much influence I gained for that. No wonder this guy has been able to claim so many so many territories. Oh, he's... Oh, he's, he's grinding my gears right now. He's grinding my gears because I should have been able to do this the entire time. Oh, now, I, now I'm mad. Now I'm actually mad about that. I should have been able to do this the entire time, but I was just so... I was really nervous about it, you know? I was really, really nervous about it. It just goes to show, you know, if you're nervous about something, maybe you should just go for it, you know? It, whether it's medieval combat, or whether it's, you know, uh, having that really important call, business call, you know, with your with your lord. Because you never know whether he's going to text you in the middle of the night and be like, where is my chicken? You know, because he's got a pet chicken, of course. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you excuse the ramblings. Anyway, the point is, now we now we desperately need to look out for basically any brigand camp at all. And uh, I'm going to bring my spear militia back to our, to our town here. Actually, I don't even know whether I should bring them back. Maybe I should just let them run around. Maybe I should just keep them in, in the region um, so that they can... I don't know, destroy more bandit camps, but I don't know whether they're even going to form if there are no bandit camps. I don't know. Um, but I guess, that I, I, I don't know. I think that's the thing. If we do create another, or should we say, if we do claim another area, you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to restart us from all the way back at the beginning. And then you're going to have to make another 
another town center, and you're going to have to create an entirely, an entirely new town, which is a really, really cool challenge in my opinion. Um, because then you're going to have to deal with the resources in that particular section as well, and obviously you're going to be able to trade between your, um, you know, <laughs> technically you would be able to trade between your, your people. Um, what is this? Stable space? Stable space 2 out of 2? Why is it 2 out of 2? Oh uh, yeah, these the oxes are transporting. Okay, okay. Why why do we not have more stable space? Can I not uh, can I not like advance this in any way? Is there no way for me to, you know, like uh what is it now? Upgrade it a little bit? Do I need to assign someone to this actually to trade? I don't need to assign someone to this, do I? I don't think so, right? Uh, wait a minute. I think I need... I want to buy stuff, but I don't have enough money to establish the trade route. So what I should probably do is just wait a little bit. I, th I do have another oxen, actually, which is quite funny. So I now have four oxen, which is pretty crazy. And here we go. Look at the weeds. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Oh, yeah, that's great. I like it. Oh yeah, that's really, really good. Okay, so maybe what we want to do is, well, my, wait, is that me? Yeah, that's me. Okay, I keep thinking red is an enemy. <laughs> yeah, idiot. I know, I know. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, so should I just disband? I guess I should just disband, actually. I can't disband outside of the home region. Aha! Okay, so that actually makes sense as well. They're just about to cross the threshold and uh, evolve into lizards. Yeah, if you get that if you get that reference, then you know, props to you. All right, there we go. Disbanded them, and uh, yeah, so the clay deposit is fine. Wild animals are also fine. Okay, good. Look at that. All right, so actually a very effective way of increasing influence, as you might have expected, considering the other guy is doing an absolutely amazing job at that. He really is. Uh, he grinds my gears. That's all I can say. He's grinding my gears super hard. Okay, uh, food stall. They, we need two types of food. Okay, why don't we have two types of food? Do we not have two types of food? I thought we had two types. We have berries. Don't we have berries? And we have something else? Wait a minute. Let me have a look. Vegetables. Okay. We don't have any bread yet because we haven't actually... F uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, they are starting to... Um, harvest the wheat and I should probably put another person on this yeah it's gonna be pretty important and another person on this as well there's no one that can do construction right now so is there anyone that I can actually remove from something the logging camp I don't know how much timber do I have 28 that's enough okay yeah, let's just move someone here Forester's hut, definitely need that. Trading, trading person. Don't really need another trading person right now. Actually, do I want to get another oxen or do I want to get something else? Technically, I could get another sheep if we wanted to. But I don't know whether we want to. That's the question. Eh, nah, I don't think we need to, right? I don't think we need to, so let's take someone off here. At least for the moment. And we don't even need the gravedigger right now. This is this is technically the job that he's doing. It's uh it's the gravedigger. Is he actually doing anything actually? I, I don't even know. Is he? <laughs> Let me just see. Is there anyone in here? I don't think so, right? Nah, that's that's kinda weird. Alright, let's, let's let's take someone off the church, I guess, for the moment. Yeah, so we don't have two types of food. So the best way for us to get other types of food is obviously eggs, right? So what we want to do is we want to build houses with backyard extensions so that we can do stuff like this. Enables production of warbows, for example. Um, enables production of shoes. Enables production of wooden parts and shields. So this is, the, this is the way that you actually construct those things. Enables production of tools, spears, and sidearms. That's actually insane if you think about it. Um, I'm gonna go for... Should I go for a blacksmith's workshop? You know, I shouldn't do that, you know, right? I shouldn't do that. We should go for vegetables. I'm gonna go for vegetables. Um, and I'm gonna go for vegetables again on this. 
Even though it's literally... Oh, no, it's winter. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it's winter. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the Blacksmith Workshop now. So we can finally get something going there in that regard. And uh, there's an apple orchard there as well. Do we want to get more shields? Yeah, we probably want to get more shields, right? So let's actually build that right next door. All right. Oh, so cool, right? So cool. That's the thing that we were missing this entire time, by the way. The backyard extensions. They're the reason why we weren't able to have a much larger army. But it didn't matter because we used, you know, superior tactics. Oh, yes. Very superior tactics. Not. I'm obviously joking. <laughs> uh, yes. Am I? Am I really? Yeah. You know, kind of. Anyway, there we go. All right. So we're obviously going to get one person running around to do the construction. Not a big fan of that, actually. But there is actually nothing else I can do. Actually, the farmhouse. I don't even need people on the farmhouse anymore. Are you really re-sowing this? Uh... I don't actually want them to re-sow this right now. This is not a good idea. Uh, let's just leave it fallow, actually, fellows. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave that. I mean, I want to leave it fallow, actually. I... I should probably have three fields. Yeah, someone actually recommended having three fields, to be honest. And, and it's probably a good idea, to be honest. Anyway, artisan workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods. To select what good is being produced, check the general tab in the building panel. Okay, I'll do that in just a second, fellow. Thank you very much for the tip. Okay, so we're just going to leave this for the moment. And we're going to continue creating whatever this is. We've got a bunch of people that are now able to do the work, which is nice. Clay Furnace is probably done with all of the uh, all of the excess clay that we had. And now we can select the blacksmith. Right? How did it... Uh, what, did, what did it tell me to do? There we go. There it is. Alright. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so we can actually get sidearms, spears, and pole arms. And we can even make tools as well if we want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to turn off the smithy. Because the smithy doesn't actually allow us to create weapons for some reason. I don't actually know why that is, but apparently it doesn't. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create... Uh, I don't actually know. I'm, I am I would like to create pole arms, because I think that would be quite fun. Um, but I'm going to create spears for the moment. I think that's a pretty easy bet. And we should also be creating small shields or large shields. How much? How, much, how many planks do I have? 100, 139. Let's create some shields. Some large shields. Yeah. There we go. All right. That is looking nice. I love it. I love it. This is fun. Okay. Wait a minute. Now what we want to do is we want to get more burgage plots. That's going to be exceptional. There we go. This is really great. Look at how effective I'm being. Look at this. Look at how amazing this is. I'm obviously joking. That's terrible. Okay, let's do it the other way. Let's do it the other way. Let's do it this way. There we go. That's a little better. Not not a lot, not a lot better. Not a lot better, but a little bit better. Okay, burgage plot right about here. Where's the um, where's the berry? Oh, there's the berry deposit. Okay, I don't need to worry about that then. I was a bit worried that I was going to be building on that. That would have been absolutely terrible, wouldn't it? Okay, let's build here. There we go. Another road like this. Perfect. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's looking that's looking real good in my opinion. I feel like that's looking real good. Okay, and we're doing really nicely in terms of food and in terms of fuel. As you can see, we have um, eight months worth of food. Not sure if that's enough actually, but I can only hope that the um, the uh, communal oven is doing a good job. I mean. I don't know how much food we actually have because they... That's the thing. My people tend to eat this stuff almost instantly, right? And that's the problem, you know? Because they're literally just going to go, Oh, yes, uh, I, I haven't had, you know, vegetables and, and bread in a huge amount of time. So, yeah, that's a problem. Anyway, I'm going to go for another chicken coop here. Very important. 
you know, because it's going to give us eggs and everything. And uh, why is my approval rating going down so dramatically? Why is that? Market food variety. Yeah, we barely have any of that, unfortunately. Church level is obviously doing per perfectly fine. However, is there not a way that I can upgrade the church again? Doesn't seem like it. So, to upgrade a uh, house or a residential zone to level 3, you need a tavern, obviously. And you also need three different types of clothing. So you need shoes, clothes, or cloaks. Any, any, enough supply of any of the following. So we obviously have a quite, a, quite a few clothes, I think, because of our flax and uh, and our wool and so on. Uh, but apart from that, we don't really have anything, from what I can tell. Um, so basically, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find someone with a backyard, pre preferably this one, and then when we're going to we're going to have to get shoes. So we obviously can't advance this one just yet. But once that's level 2, then we might be able to do that. Uh, actually, I could do it here. Yeah, no, I could do it here. There you go. So the Cobbler's Workshop. Let's do that. There we go. So they're actually going to be creating the Cobbler's Workshop. And then we'll be able to get shoes. And that's going to be even better. So then we, all we need to do is just watch out for when a brigand... Uh, it actually pauses the game when you actually zoom out all the way. Um, but yeah, basically, we're just going to have to watch out for... A uh, brigand, um, brigand camp, and then just go there as soon as possible, basically. Okay, so the work area is yeah. I know that it's empty. Do we, do you not need to run the stall? The stall? Uh, the market will have to be taken over by someone else. Uh, sure. I guess. I, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess they they will. Um, I guess they'll they'll do that themselves or something. I don't. I don't actually know. I mean, I don't really want to have them be just doing random stuff because obviously they're not doing anything in regards to picking up the berries. So it's not really necessary, I suppose, for them to be concentrating on it so hard. Wait a minute. What's this? Hitching post? I can I can assign one person to this. Upgrade to a small stable. That might actually be really useful. Oh, I should have done that over here. Oh, that's actually hilarious. I should have done that instead of just building more hitching posts. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, once again, you live and learn. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so you can upgrade them so much. That's actually hilarious how effective that is. Yeah, so... Basically, it is actually really important as well to make sure that your burgage plots do have a backyard so that they can have the extension. Because that's that's really important, actually. Because if you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to get chickens, you're not going to be able to get shoes or any of those things. And now, we are once again... Oh yeah, you guessed it. We are once again going to have this wonderful thing. Yeah... Oh well, never mind. Winter. That's what I'm talking about. Winter, of course. Okay, so I'm actually just going to put some more people on here. want to try to get as much charcoal as possible. And my food situation is not looking particularly good either. So maybe we want to try to um, get more... Uh, I don't actually know. How much... Um, <laughs> how much wheat... Oh, I have... Z oh my god, are you serious? I only have zero? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, uh, that's really, really bad. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to do something that... Uh, should I should I try to trade for it? I don't really want to do that. I, I don't even have enough money for it. I need a little bit more. I mean, I could try to trade for wheat. But it's... It's literally 12. It's 12 to import. That's insanity. Wow, that's that, how how do you earn this? Can be used for import or converted to treasure. Oh, I could sell some stuff. You know what? I could actually sell some stuff. You know what? Let's do that. Shall we? Shall we sell some stuff? Maybe that would be kind of fun. So let's trade. Um, let me export. Not berries, but something else. What about? No, not iron ore. I need to create iron slabs. What about firewood? I mean, I've got. To, I need. I need firewood, don't I? 
Uh, what about commodities? Tools? I could export tools for six per one. That's actually not bad. I mean, I don't need tools for anything, do I? I don't actually know what tools are used for. I mean, eventually we're going to need tools to upgrade buildings, as you can quite clearly tell, right? You're going to need tools for that. But I don't think we need 100 and, uh, 134 for that. However, the main problem is I don't have the trade route. Yeah, and I need 72 for that. Ooh, that's harsh. That's really, really harsh. But we are creating some more, um, some more spears, hopefully, right? Right? I actually have no idea. Um, but yeah, let's get some pole arms too. Why not? Let's get some pole arms as well. And how are we doing in terms of shields? Yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty nicely. Yeah, not bad. Okay, um, so here's the thing. We're going to need, as I say, we're going to need to make some shoes to be able to upgrade this to level, th uh, level 3. And we also need three types of food, which we do actually have. But my people are just eating it super, super fast. And it makes no, no difference then. So as you can see, they have one egg. <laughs> one egg, zero bread, and two meat. Not sure where they got the meat from, to be honest. I guess from the hunting. I guess from, from hunting. But there's just not enough. So, having three types is a little bit tricky. Um, but I could get more chickens, you see. I could get more chickens, and then that could potentially work. But, again, a bit problematic. Um, you could also get a bakery extension here, but you, uh, you need the development for that. So, you need to get, um, what is it? Where is it here? Uh, bakery here, beekeeping, no, uh, there, there it is. So, you know, if you want to do that and you want to get twice the amount of bread from the flour, which would probably be a good idea, then, you know, you can go, go for that. I personally feel like it is quite difficult to earn development points for the moment, because as you can see, I need to get three burgage plots to level three or higher and i need three of them to be able to make that work um but that's obviously pretty clearly not going to happen that soon so we're just going to have to continue that's the point just continue playing and continue trying to make that work that's basically it that's basically what it comes down to okay so what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to go all the way around here and we're just going to have like a nice little Nice little neighborhood, you know, basically. I'm, I'm actually very much enjoying the, the whole construction of the neighborhoods and everything. I feel like they are super, super satisfying. There we go. And we can get another one. Somewhere like this. We want to make sure that they have a backyard. There we go. And what's this over here? There's nothing over here, really? Oh, I'm surprised. I thought there was something over here all along, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. We're going to get some more families included as well. Bear in mind that we've only got six months worth of food, which is really bad, actually. This is, um, I think this is probably something that's going to kill us. I think that's probably the thing that is going to kill me in the end. I don't think I'm going to have enough to be able to do that. Um, because I need 72 to get the, uh... The exporting thing, right? To get the uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what do I want to get again? I want to get. Uh, don't I want to get weapons, right? I want to get weapons or something. Oh, no, no. I want to get tools. I want to be able to export tools. Yes. So being able to export tools would be an exceptional thing for us, because then what we'd be able to do is sell about I don't know, sell 50 tools or, or 80 tools or something for an insane amount of cash. And then we would just have so much money that we'd be able to get any trade route we want. And then we could actually import some food if we needed to. That would be a really, really good thing for us to do, in my opinion. It feels like we just don't get enough from our fields or anything like that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, which I probably am. I mean, let's face it, you know, it's me. So I am probably doing it wrong. However, let's just have a look see here. Okay, uh, fallow, fallow. Okay, yeah, that's really, really bad. Should probably put this on wheat. Put this on wheat. Put this on fallow for the moment. And I should probably get... All things considered. I should probably get... 
another field. So let's do it. So where where's uh, barley, flax? I actually don't know where wheat grows the best, so it doesn't actually tell me. But oh well, never mind. Okay, I guess I'll just build it round about here. Something like this. Decent-ish, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems fine. 55%, that's alright. And... 59% here? Really? 59%? Okay, sure, we'll just do that. And... I'm get, I, I have 60% on this. I, I might as well just do it, right? I mean, I might as well just do it. And uh, we'll see what happens. And I'm just going to slap everyone on there next harvesting season. You know, that's literally what I'm going to do. Just put everyone on there that I can. Did they already create all those burgage plots? Are you serious? That was so fast. How did they do that so quickly? That was really, really quick. Put another person on the logging camp there. Um... Woodcutters Lodge. These are the firewood people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting used to knowing which ones are which now because obviously I'm getting... I, I get confused pretty quickly on, on these things. Okay, so as you can see, we've got so much firewood but basically no charcoal. Even though the charcoal kiln should technically be working overtime because there's three people here. But apparently not. Apparently they're having some issues with that for some reason. Uh, Woodcutters Lodge. Okay, where's the one that actually replants... The Forester's Hut. I'm going to put another person on that. And I actually want to get some... Well, that's the thing. I need to wait for my regional wealth to get to 72 so that I can actually export things. There are no brigand camps or anything like that at the moment either. So my influence cannot be increased. But... Well, there's not much more for me to do, basically. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But... I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. I feel like we've done a pretty good job. However, there's one thing that I really, really failed on. Oh! There's a brigand camp! It's all the way over there, though. Oh, no. That's so far. Yes, anyway, there's one thing that I really failed on, and I, I will be the first to admit that, 100%. Failed on getting influence. Would have been so easy to get influence if I just realized ahead of time exactly what I needed to do. Uh, but now I do. Now I know. So, you know, now now everything is a little bit easier for us. And maybe I'll be able to um, actually do something here. Uh, I don't know. Are they actually doing something? Yeah, it seems like they are actually creating things. Um, I'm going to increase the amount of people that can be here. For the blacksmith. Um, I think that's pretty important. Uh, but yeah. So what we're going to do. Oh, hello. Forager. The forager thing is back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Let's get three people on that ASAP. There we go. Yes. And now uh, people will start, um, you know, planting the wheat and all that things. And hopefully that's going to be good. Let's get one person on the, on the windmill for now. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to start planting sometime soon. Hopefully. Uh, I'm just going to try to get three people on this, I guess. I want to try to get as many berries as possible, too. Because uh, I only have four months worth of food. Oh, dear. Only four months worth. That's really bad. Oh, my. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. And I need more people, actually. Are we... Are people actually living in, in these things? No, no, they're not living here. Uh, so, uh, some people are just not joining. I, I, I assume that there are just not enough... There's just not enough... Um, uh, not enough approval, shall we say. Not enough approval. I need more approval to be able to make that work. So I'm actually wondering if I should lower the taxes. Because how, what am I actually getting from this? Am I actually getting this? Yeah. This is from the taxes. And what does this actually do? Can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue and mercenaries, as well as settling a new region. Settling a new region? I don't think that I don't think that really does that. As you can see, I need influence for that. So I'm not sure. I mean, can I actually hire mercenaries through the use of that? Let me actually have a look. 
So let's have a look here. Okay. Um, higher mercenaries. Yeah, look at that. We've got 22 pole arms. We've got 46 spears. Oh, yes. Oh, we're going to be able to create an amazing army next time, fellows. Oh, yes, that should be so fun. All right, yeah. Otherwise, let's uh, let's hire the mercenaries. Let's see what's actually going on here. So I can hire the green caps, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't really want to hire mercenaries, actually. I feel like my, my forces are going to be exceptional. I feel like they're going to be really, really strong. I can even form a new unit here if I want to. Look at that. We can even get polearm militia. We can get pole arms. Yes, there we go. Another another bunch of those guys. We don't have enough pole arms, though. <laughs> we don't have enough pole arms. But it doesn't matter, you know, as we've seen. It does not matter one bit, but that is so cool. Anyway, I'm going to get carried away if I continue here. So I am literally just going to say, uh, you know, cheerio. Goodbye. Goodbye to you right now. And, um, you know, stick around. If you want to check out the next episode, then by all means, that would be very welcome. I very much enjoy in experiencing this with you. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.